Hello, brothers and sisters. This is Kevin Cosby here at St. Stephen Baptist Church in Louisville, Kentucky, with another powerful point to ponder as we spend meaningful moments on a daily basis with the Word of God. Thank you so much uh, for joining me. Uh, this week, we started a new series entitled, uh, When God Orders Your Steps, You've Got to Move Your Feet. God's role is to order our steps. That word steps, order rather, literally means to set things up for you. <laughs> and boy, God can set some things up for you. God will open up a Red Sea, but you got to you got to be willing to move your feet to get on the other side. God will make the, the Jordan River uh, rise up and, and gather as a heap, as the book of Joshua says. But once it rises and gathers at a heap at a place called Adam, it's up to you to move your feet. God can allow Peter to walk on water, but it's up to Peter to move his feet. God can set things up for you, but once God set things up for you, it is order. It is important for you to move your feet because God will never do for you what God has enabled you to do for yourself. Psalm 37 verse 23 tells us God will order our steps. The steps of a good man are ordered by the Lord. So God will order your steps. And then once God orders your steps, it's up to you to move your feet. Now, many times we don't want to move our feet because we want to know in advance before we decide to move, where is this ultimately going to take me? Where is it going to take me? Uh, I have a friend uh, uh, at St. Stephen Church, a good sister, very gifted sister. Uh, her name is Pat Matheson. And uh, she very encouraging texts me uh, uh, the other day, several days ago, and and said to me, you know, just a, an affirming and encouraging word. Uh, but she said to me in the text that you know God is using you, and I know you had no idea that you would be doing the things that you're doing now as a pastor of a great church, the president of a of a historically black college university, and. Had you told me when I started at St. Stephen Church when I was 20 years old that uh, 40, almost 42 years ago, that I would be doing what I'm doing now, I, I, I would have believed it. But, but when God orders your steps, God just wants you to move. And if you keep moving step by step by step, you never know where these steps are going to tell to take you. Now, here's a very important point that I want you to get about walking by faith. God orders your steps, sets things up. You move your feet. And God is not obligated to reveal to you what step two is going to be like until you have first been obedient to take step one. We want God to tell us what step six is going to look like. How much money am I going to make, God? Or step eight, who are you going to put in my life, God? Or step 10, how will this, this be sustained, God? And it's okay to, to dream, to plan, to envision, to do due diligence. But God's not going to reveal to you what step two is and step three is, God will give you step two until you have first taken step one. You got to get started. It's long overdue. Your feet should have been moving towards some dream, some goal a long time ago. And once you've prayed, listen to me, for God to order your steps, which means to order, order, set things up for you. And you sit there not moving. The Bible calls that a sin. It's a sin. In fact, Ecclesiastes chapter five, verse four says this. When you make a promise to God. Don't delay following through. In other words, God has set things up for you, and then you won't follow through. 
Or God has put some people in your life to set things up for you and you won't follow through. Or you may, God might use your parents, young people, to set things up for you and you didn't follow through and study the way you should have studied and moved your feet towards the classroom, moved your feet towards the study session, moved your feet towards the library so you could do the research for the paper. You didn't move your feet. And God had your parents to set that thing up for you, to order something for you so that you could be the best you could be. And then you look back over and say, my God, I did not move my feet. I did not do my part. So it says, when you make a promise to God, when God orders your steps and you make a promise to God, don't delay in following through for God takes no pleasures in fools. So now we know what a fool is. A fool is somebody who God has just set up and you just sit there and don't take advantage of what God has ordered for you. That's what that's foolishness because you're undermining your own happiness. You're undermining your own joy. You're undermining your own future. God orders your steps. The last sentence says, keep all the promises you make to him. Let God order your steps. You move your feet. God's not obligated to tell you what step two is going to be and step three is going to be if you have not been faithful to take step one. And if you take step one, walking by faith, God will give you enough light to take next step two. And then God will give you enough light to take step three. You take it one step at a time one day at a time, trusting God who has ordered your steps, moving your feet, and see if God won't take you to a place that you never dreamed you will be. Because eye has not seen and ear has not heard what great things God has in store for them that believe. Let's pray together. Heavenly Father, uh, thank you that you set things up. Give us the faith to move our feet and not be concerned about step two until we are first taken step one. Step by step, moment by moment, day by day, every round goes higher. Lord, thank you that we're not what we used to be. And thank you that you're moving us now step by step to where you want us to be. In Jesus name, amen. Well, thank you so very much for joining us again for another powerful point to ponder. Don't forget uh, that everybody needs a church home. And if you don't have a church home, I'd like to invite you to become a part of St. Stephen Baptist Church. Uh, virtually, if you live outside the city of Louisville, join us, connect with us virtually. Uh, contact us, newstart at ssclive.org. Well, peace and blessings to you. And we'll pick up on this theme again tomorrow. So uh, you join us tomorrow. But until then, don't forget during COVID-19, stay safe, stay sane. And if you can, stay home. Take care. See you tomorrow.